In the pursuit of a virtuous life, we often forget that the company we keep shapes our journey more than we realize. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy rooted in wisdom, teaches us that true inner peace is not just about enduring external hardships, but also about discerning the influences we allow into our lives. What if I told you that some of these influences, masquerading as friendships or relationships, might be the very obstacles to your tranquility? Today, we delve into the 12 unmistakable signs that it's time to cut ties and reclaim your path to a tranquil existence. Let's begin with the most fundamental a consistent lack of respect. In the stoic pursuit of justice, respect is not merely a courtesy. It is the bedrock upon which all virtuous relationships stand. When this is lacking, it's not just a slight, it's a signal a signal that this relationship is out of alignment with the principles that guide a life of wisdom and integrity. In the Stoic worldview, respect is not just a social nicety. It is a reflection of justice, one of the cardinal virtues that guide us toward a life of moral excellence. A consistent lack of respect in any relationship is more than a mere affront it is a profound misalignment with the principles of Stoicism. Such disrespect chips away at your dignity, piece by piece, undermining the tranquility that Stoics hold dear. It hinders your ability to live in accordance with virtue, as each interaction becomes a challenge to your inner peace and self-worth. To the Stoic, every relationship is an opportunity to practice virtue, to embody wisdom, courage, justice, and moderation. When respect is absent, this opportunity is lost and the relationship becomes a source of discord rather than harmony. Recognizing this, the Stoic must not react with anger or bitterness, but with reason and discernment. The decision to sever ties is not an act of hostility, but a rational choice to protect one's inner tranquility and remain true to the path of virtue. By stepping away from relationships that lack respect, you affirm your own worth and commit to living in accordance with the highest Stoic ideals. Imagine for a moment the serene tranquility that Stoics strive for a calm and undisturbed mind, unshaken by external events. Now, consider how easily this peace can be disrupted by those we allow into our lives. Sign 2. Negative Effects on Mental Health In the philosophy of Stoicism, maintaining inner peace is paramount. Our mental well-being is not just a passive state, it is something we must actively protect. When a relationship consistently causes anxiety, stress, or depression, it becomes clear that this connection is more of a hindrance than a help. Stoicism teaches us that while we cannot control the actions of others, we have full authority over how we respond and whom we allow to influence our state of mind. A relationship that saps your emotional energy or disturbs your tranquility is contrary to the Stoic ideal of a virtuous and fulfilling life. The Stoics would advise a careful evaluation of such relationships, urging you to distance yourself from those that consistently bring negativity into your life. This is not an act of avoidance, but a deliberate choice to cultivate an environment that nurtures your inner peace and supports your journey towards wisdom and virtue. By doing so, you honor the Stoic principle of safeguarding your most valuable asset, your peace of mind. Consider the compass that guides a sailor through treacherous waters always pointing towards true north, regardless of the storm. In our lives, our core values and beliefs serve as this compass, guiding us through the complexities of existence. But what happens when someone close to us consistently pulls us off course, leading us away from our true path? Sign 3. Misaligned Values In Stoicism, the alignment of one's life with virtue is of utmost importance. Our values and core beliefs are the foundation upon which we build our actions, decisions, and ultimately, our character. When we find ourselves in close relationships with those whose values sharply contrast with our own, it creates a dissonance that is not just uncomfortable, but fundamentally disruptive to our pursuit of a virtuous life. Stoicism emphasizes is the harmony between one's inner principles and outer actions. If honesty, integrity, and wisdom are your guiding virtues, but someone close to you repeatedly acts in ways that contradict these ideals, this misalignment creates a persistent internal conflict. It becomes increasingly difficult to maintain your own integrity 
when you are constantly exposed to values that challenge and undermine it. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Emperor, often spoke of the importance of surrounding oneself with individuals who embody the virtues we aspire to. Misaligned values in a relationship do more than create tension. They impede your ability to grow as a Stoic. Over time, these conflicts erode the trust, respect, and mutual understanding that are the pillars of any meaningful relationship. Addressing such misalignments may require difficult conversations or, in some cases, the recognition that the relationship no longer serves your higher purpose. Stoicism teaches that sometimes, the most virtuous action is to distance oneself from relationships that hinder your moral and personal growth, allowing you to stay true to your compass and navigate towards a life of wisdom and tranquility. Sign for feeling constantly drained. In the Stoic philosophy, energy is a precious resource, one that should be preserved and directed towards the pursuit of virtue and inner tranquility. When we engage in relationships that leave us feeling consistently drained, we are, in essence, allowing our energy to be sapped away, leaving little left for the cultivation of a virtuous life. A healthy relationship should be a source of mutual support and rejuvenation. According to Stoicism, relationships should contribute positively to our well-being, helping us to grow in wisdom, courage, and justice. However, when interactions with someone consistently exhaust us emotionally, mentally, or even physically, this is a clear sign that the relationship is out of alignment with Stoic ideals. Feeling drained after every interaction is not just an inconvenience. It is a profound indicator that the relationship is taking more from you than it is giving. This imbalance is unsustainable as it detracts from your ability to maintain inner peace and to focus on what truly matters. The Stoics, like Seneca and Marcus Aurelius, emphasize the importance of choosing relationships that nurture rather than deplete, recognizing that our energy is finite and must be used wisely. To address this, Stoicism advises careful reflection. Ask yourself why this relationship is so draining. Is it due to one-sided interactions, constant negativity, or unmet expectations? Once you identify the root cause, you can take steps to either restore balance through honest communication and boundary setting or, if necessary, distance yourself to preserve your peace of mind. In doing so, you are not simply avoiding discomfort, but actively choosing to live in a way that honors your commitment to virtue and tranquility. A relationship that consistently drains you is not conducive to a stoic life, and recognizing this is a step towards reclaiming your energy and focusing it on what truly enriches your existence. Imagine standing at the edge of a clear pond where the water's surface reflects the world with perfect clarity. Now, imagine someone stirring the waters, distorting that reflection until you can no longer trust what you see. In the same way, manipulation in relationships distorts reality, leading us away from the stoic ideal of clear, reasoned judgment. Sign five, manipulation. In the stoic tradition, Authenticity and clarity are paramount virtues. The ability to perceive the world as it truly is, without the fog of illusion or deceit, is central to living a life of wisdom and virtue. Manipulation, however, stands in stark opposition to these principles. It distorts reality, reshaping it to serve the manipulator's interests at the expense of the truth and, ultimately, your well-being. Manipulation often operates subtly weaving itself into the fabric of a relationship in ways that can be difficult to detect. It might manifest as deceit, guilt tripping, or even gaslighting, where your own perceptions and memories are called into question. For the Stoic, such behavior is a grave violation of the principles of justice and integrity. It undermines your ability to make reasoned decisions, clouding your judgment and leading you away from the path of virtue. Stoicism teaches that we must guard our inner citadel, our mind against such external distortions. When someone manipulates you, they are not merely influencing your actions. They are tampering with your very perception of reality, making it difficult to live in accordance with truth and reason. This is why it is crucial to recognize manipulation for what it is a breach of trust and a disruption of your peace of mind. To counteract manipulation, 
Stoicism advocates for the practice of clear, rational thinking and firm boundaries. You must reaffirm your values and remain steadfast in your commitment to live authentically, free from the distortions imposed by others. If manipulation persists despite your efforts to address it, the stoic response may require distancing yourself from the manipulator, not out of anger, but as a rational choice to protect your moral integrity and inner tranquility. In the end, freeing yourself from manipulative relationships is not just about escaping a negative influence. It is about realigning yourself with the stoic goal of living a truthful and virtuous life. By doing so, you regain clarity, allowing your thoughts and actions to reflect the true nature of the world and your place within it. Imagine building a sturdy bridge, stone by stone, with each piece carefully placed to ensure it stands the test of time. Trust is that bridge in our relationships, each interaction a stone laid in place, each promise kept, a reinforcement. But what happens when the foundation is compromised and the bridge begins to crack? Sign six, lack of trust. In Stoic philosophy, trust is not merely an accessory to relationships. It is the very foundation upon which all meaningful connections are built. Trust aligns closely with the Stoic virtue of justice, which demands fairness, honesty, and reliability in all our dealings. Without trust, a relationship is like a structure built on unstable ground, fragile, insecure, and ultimately doomed to collapse. When trust is absent, suspicion and doubt take its place, eroding the bond between individuals. This absence of trust leads to an environment filled with anxiety and uncertainty, where genuine intimacy and connection become impossible. The Stoics taught that a life lived in accordance with virtue requires stability and tranquility, both of which are threatened when trust is compromised. The erosion of trust is not just a personal setback, it is a philosophical one. For the Stoic, trust is intertwined with moral character. When trust falters, it signals that the Stoic values of truthfulness and integrity are not being upheld. This creates a dissonance, pulling us away from the harmonious life that Stoicism seeks to cultivate. To address a lack of trust, Stoicism advises us to return to our principles honesty, transparency, and reliability. We must assess whether our actions or those of others align with these virtues. If trust can be rebuilt through open dialogue and a renewed commitment to these values, then the relationship may be salvaged. However, if trust remains elusive, the Stoic path may require us to step back, recognizing that the relationship, as it stands, is not conducive to the tranquility and moral development we seek. In such cases, distancing oneself is not a failure, but a rational decision rooted in the pursuit of a virtuous life. By doing so, we protect our inner peace, ensuring that our relationships are built on the firm ground of trust and integrity allowing us to live in accordance with our highest Stoic ideals. Imagine a garden where every plant is carefully tended, each one flourishing under the nurturing hand of the gardener. Now, picture a toxic substance slowly seeping into the soil, poisoning the roots and stunting the growth of everything in its path. Abuse in any form is that poison in the garden of relationships, corrupting what should be a source of nourishment and growth. Sign seven, abuse of any kind, in the Stoic view, every human being possesses inherent worth and dignity. The practice of virtue central to Stoic philosophy demands that we treat others and ourselves with respect, kindness, and justice. Abuse, whether physical, emotional, or verbal, stands in direct opposition to these principles. It is a profound violation of the respect and humanity that Stoicism insists upon. Enduring abuse is not a sign of strength or resilience in Stoic thought. Rather, it is a harmful submission to something that erodes our moral integrity and peace of mind. Marcus Aurelius, one of the great Stoic philosophers, spoke often of the importance of maintaining one's inner citadel, the inner fortress of the mind that should remain unbreached by external misfortunes and injustices. Abuse, however, seeks to penetrate and damage this citadel weakening our resolve and distorting our sense of self-worth. Stoicism teaches that we must take proactive steps to protect our dignity and well-being. 
Recognizing and addressing abuse is not merely about self-preservation. It is about upholding the Stoic commitment to justice and virtue. This may mean setting firm boundaries, seeking help, or, in many cases, removing oneself from the situation entirely. The decision to distance oneself from an abusive relationship is not driven by anger or vengeance, but by a rational understanding that such a relationship is incompatible with the Stoic pursuit of a virtuous life. To live in accordance with Stoic principles, we must prioritize our mental and physical health, ensuring that our relationships contribute to our growth rather than our detriment. In freeing ourselves from abuse, we reclaim our power to live with dignity, integrity, and inner peace, aligning our lives with the Stoic ideals of wisdom, justice, and courage. This is not just an act of self-care, but a profound affirmation of our commitment to live as the best version of ourselves, unshackled by the chains of harmful influences. Imagine a river that flows steadily towards its destination, its waters clear and purpose-driven. Now, picture a dam that halts its progress, trapping the water and preventing it from moving forward. In our lives, relationships should be like that river, facilitating our growth and progress. But when they become stagnant, they act as a dam, obstructing our journey towards a virtuous life. Sinate, absence of growth or mutual support. In Stoic philosophy, life is seen as a continuous opportunity for growth and self-improvement. Every experience, every relationship, is a chance to cultivate wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance the cardinal virtues that guide us towards living a good life. However, when a relationship lacks growth or mutual support, it becomes a barrier to this progress, contradicting the stoic ideal of a life marked by constant betterment. A relationship should be a mutual exchange of encouragement and constructive feedback, where both individuals support each other in their journey towards virtue. The stoics believed in the concept of synergia, or mutual cooperation, where relationships are meant to be a source of strength helping us to stay true to our principles and fostering our moral and personal development. When a relationship fails to provide this mutual support, it can lead to feelings of stagnation, dissatisfaction, and even resentment. Instead of being uplifted and inspired, you may feel as though you are being held back, unable to reach your full potential. This lack of growth is not just a personal concern, it is a philosophical one. Stoicism teaches that our associations should elevate us, helping us to become better versions of ourselves. To address this, Stoicism encouraged introspection and honest communication. It may involve discussing your needs and expectations openly or reassessing the goals of the relationship. However, if it becomes clear that the relationship is no longer conducive to your growth, the Stoic response may require stepping away. This is not an act of abandonment, but a deliberate choice to prioritize your pursuit of virtue and a fulfilling life. By distancing yourself from relationships that no longer support your growth, you free yourself to seek out connections that align with your stoic values, allowing you to continue your journey towards wisdom, tranquility, and a life well-lived. Imagine a scale perfectly balanced, each side equally weighted, symbolizing fairness and harmony. Now. Picture one side being loaded with more and more weight, while the other remains empty and neglected. This imbalance when found in relationships is a clear signal that something is amiss. Sign 9. Persistent Selfish Behavior In Stoic philosophy, relationships are seen as a vital arena for practicing the virtues of fairness, reciprocity, and generosity. A relationship, by its very nature, is a partnership a dynamic interplay where giving and receiving are in harmony. Persistent selfish behavior, however, disrupts this balance, creating an inequity that runs counter to the stoic principles of justice and mutual respect. When one person consistently prioritizes their own needs and desires over those of others, it not only undermines the relationship's integrity, but also hampers personal and moral development. Stoicism teaches that virtue lies in balance and self-control. In relationships, this translates to each person considering the well-being of the other as equal to their own. When this balance is skewed, the relationship becomes a breeding ground for resentment and dissatisfaction, 
eroding the trust and affection that are essential for any meaningful connection. To address persistent selfishness, Stoicism encourages honest reflection and communication. It requires the courage to calmly express your concerns and the wisdom to evaluate whether the relationship can be restored to a state of equilibrium. However, if efforts to restore balance prove fruitless, Stoicism advocates for the wisdom to recognize when a situation is beyond your control. At this point, it may be necessary to distance yourself from relationships that are fundamentally unbalanced and thus incompatible with the pursuit of a virtuous life. In making this decision, you are not simply reacting to unfair treatment, but making a reasoned choice to align your relationships with the stoic ideals of mutual respect, support, and continuous growth. By doing so, you ensure that your connections enrich your life, fostering an environment where both individuals can thrive and contribute positively to each other's journey towards wisdom and fulfillment. Picture a sculptor meticulously carving a statue, each strike of the chisel shaping the figure into a work of art. Now imagine if the chisel, instead of crafting, was used to mar and disfigure the statue, each blow causing irreparable damage. Communication in relationships is much like that chisel it can either build and refine or destroy and deface. Sign 10. Destructive Communication In the Stoic tradition, words are seen as powerful tools that reflect our inner virtues and values. Communication is not just about exchanging information. It is about building understanding, trust, and respect. When communication turns destructive marked by criticism, sarcasm, belittling, or constant negativity, it corrodes the very foundation of a relationship, making it toxic and harmful. Stoicism teaches that our words should be guided by reason and virtue. They should uplift, support, and reflect our commitment to justice and kindness. Persistent destructive communication, however, does the opposite. It tears down instead of building up, creating an environment of discord and resentment. Over time, this negativity can erode the bonds of trust and affection that are essential for any healthy relationship, leaving both parties feeling hurt and disconnected. Addressing destructive communication requires a stoic commitment to self-reflection and mindful dialogue. It involves not only recognizing harmful patterns in how we speak, but also making a conscious effort to change them. Stoicism encourages us to approach conversations with a spirit of understanding and a desire to resolve conflicts rather than to dominate or belittle the other person. If, despite your best efforts, the destructive communication persists and continues to damage the relationship, the stoic path may require you to step back. This is not a retreat into silence or passivity, but a rational decision to protect your peace of mind and preserve your commitment to living virtuously. Distancing yourself from a relationship where destructive communication reigns is a necessary step to maintain your integrity and tranquility. By choosing to surround yourself with relationships that nurture positive, constructive communication, you align your life with stoic ideals. This ensures that your interactions contribute to a life of wisdom, harmony, and mutual respect, allowing both you and those around you to thrive. Imagine setting out on a long journey where every step is guided by a map that ensures you stay on course. Now, imagine if that map was constantly ignored or disregarded, leading you astray at every turn. In relationships, your personal needs and boundaries are that map guiding you toward a life of balance and fulfillment. Sign 11. Disregard for personal needs. In the Stoic philosophy, self-respect and the recognition of one's own needs are essential for maintaining inner harmony and living a virtuous life. A relationship where your needs are consistently ignored or trivialized is not just challenging. It's fundamentally out of sync with Stoic principles. When someone repeatedly disregards your boundaries, makes unilateral decisions, or fails to acknowledge your feelings and preferences, they send a clear message. Your well-being is not a priority. Stoicism teaches us that maintaining our inner tranquility requires clear communication and mutual respect. Ignoring or sacrificing your needs for the sake of maintaining peace in a relationship is not an act of virtue. It's a compromise of your self-worth. The Stoic commitment to justice extends not only to how we treat others, 
but also to how we allow ourselves to be treated. When your needs are disregarded, it's a violation of this justice as sign that the relationship may be more harmful than beneficial. Addressing this issue starts with recognizing and affirming your own needs. From a stoic perspective, this is not about selfishness, but about self-care and ensuring that you are living in accordance with your values and principles. Clear and assertive communication is key to establishing boundaries and educating others on why your needs are important for a healthy relationship. However, if after expressing your needs, the disregard continues, stoicism may guide you to reconsider the relationship altogether. Surrounding yourself with people who respect and support your well-being is crucial for maintaining the balance and tranquility that stoicism advocates. By distancing yourself from relationships that fail to honor your personal needs, you uphold your commitment to living a life of integrity, wisdom, and inner peace. In doing so, you ensure that your relationships contribute positively to your journey, allowing you to stay true to your path and fostering connections that are rooted in mutual respect and growth. Imagine a team of rowers, each person perfectly in sync, propelling the boat forward with coordinated effort. Now, picture one rower dropping their oar, leaving the others to struggle and compensate for the imbalance. In relationships, mutual accountability is that collective effort essential for maintaining harmony and progress. Sign 12, absence of mutual accountability. In Stoic philosophy, accountability is not just a virtue. It is a cornerstone of any strong, enduring relationship. Mutual accountability fosters trust, respect, and fairness, which are crucial for the stability and growth of any connection. When accountability is absent, it creates an imbalance where one person may feel burdened, unheard, or disrespected, leading to a breakdown in the relationship's integrity. The absence of mutual accountability often manifests in a lack of responsibility for actions, broken promises, or the refusal to acknowledge mistakes. This not only undermines trust, but also stifles the potential for growth and improvement within the relationship. For the Stoic, relationships should be a source of mutual support and moral development, helping each person align more closely with their virtues. Stoicism teaches that addressing a lack of accountability begins with open, honest communication. It requires both parties to clearly discuss their expectations and responsibilities setting standards for behavior that align with stoic principles of justice, wisdom, and courage. However, if these efforts to establish mutual accountability are met with resistance or indifference, it may signal that the relationship is fundamentally misaligned with stoic values. In such cases, the stoic path may guide you to distance yourself from relationships where accountability is lacking. This is not about placing blame, but about recognizing that without mutual effort, the relationship cannot thrive or contribute to a life of virtue. By prioritizing relationships that embrace accountability, you ensure that your connections are built on a foundation of trust, respect, and shared responsibility, allowing both individuals to grow and flourish together. In doing so, you align your life with the stoic ideals of balance, integrity, and purposeful living ensuring that every relationship you maintain contributes positively to your journey towards wisdom and tranquility. As we journey through life, guided by the principles of Stoicism, we are constantly reminded that the quality of our relationships profoundly impacts our pursuit of a virtuous and tranquil existence. But recognizing the signs that a relationship no longer serves our growth is only the first step. The true challenge lies in taking action, making the deliberate choice to align our lives with the values we hold dear. Stoicism teaches us that living in accordance with virtue requires more than just resilience in the face of adversity. It demands discernment in the company we keep. The 12 signs we've explored today are not just indicators of unhealthy relationships, they are reflections of where our lives may be out of sync with the stoic ideals of wisdom, justice, courage, and temperance. By understanding these signs and taking the necessary steps to distance ourselves from negative influences, we reclaim our power to live authentically, with clarity and purpose. This is not about casting blame or cutting ties impulsively. It's about making reasoned decisions that honor our commitment to living a life of virtue. 
As you move forward, remember that the Stoic path is not one of isolation, but of carefully choosing relationships that enrich your journey and support your growth. Surround yourself with those who inspire, uplift, and challenge you to be the best version of yourself. If you found value in today's discussion, I invite you to join our community by subscribing to this channel. Here, we delve into the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, offering insights and tools to help you navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. By subscribing, you ensure that you never miss an opportunity to deepen your understanding and practice of this powerful philosophy. Together, let's continue to explore the path of Stoicism, cultivating a life of inner peace, moral integrity, and true fulfillment. Thank you for watching, and remember the journey towards a virtuous life is not just a destination, but a daily practice. Stay committed, stay resilient, and as always, stay true to the path of wisdom.